children, welcome to Vistas Learning. I'm Soma Pal, your EVS teacher. Vistas Learning is an online platform where we bring quality education for everyone. Today, we are going to start with an EVS chapter. That is the second chapter in your EVS textbook. That is Honey, Sweet Honey. Can you see this yummy honey? From where do we get honey? You're right. We get it from the beehives. And who builds the beehives? Yes, the honeybees. But before that, we will be seeing through various animals according to their habitat and their nature. So before I start off, let's start with our chapter. Have you ever seen that if you drop a sweet uh, flat bread or any bread or a chocolate on the ground, the ants gather around the chocolate? But how do the ants sense that? Have you ever thought of it? The ants sense because of the receptors. They have their antennae. So the receptors over there, they can sense the chemical presence of the food and that's how they gather on the food. And they can carry to their home and they are very hard working, isn't it? You must have seen each hand carrying tiny bits of the food. You sure will. Then, have you ever seen in your neighborhood all the cats coming together and rubbing their body towards each other? Why is that so? Yes? Yeah, it's because of their bonding ability. They stay together. Even when we, feel we want to be uh, cozy and we want to be loved, we go and rub our body to with our parents. Isn't it? So the same ability is with the cats. You see the cats together? All right, let's go to the next slide. Now, if you have pets, when you enter the house from your school, your pet dog comes running to you and wants to show his love that how much he was missing you, he or she. How do they do that? How do they show the animals show their love towards you? It's by the licking. They keep on licking all over you, right? They jump on you. So that is how the animals show their love towards you. Now let's see what we have in the next slide. Animals living together. Yes. In forest, all the animals live together, isn't it? But there are certain animals that live separate. Can you name one? Yes, it is the tiger. Because if the tiger lives with the elephants or with the deers, the deers will be eaten up by the tiger. They stay in a distance. But they all live in jungle. Right? That is their habitat. It's exactly like how we stay in our family. Right? But our family, like grandfather, grandmother, uncle, auntie, they all stay distance. We are no dangerous to them. But it is like we stay with our mummy and papa and they stay in their house, in their family. But all together, we are a one large family. Okay. Here. Can you see these two dogs that is fighting over a meat? Why do they fight with each other? Suppose you have two dogs, if you have given food to the street dog and there are many dogs together, you have given only one piece of meat. Will they share and eat? How do we share? No, they would fight with each other. Should we also fight for food? Certainly not. They have, they fight for their dominance. They have to show that, no, we are dominant over you. I have to eat the whole meat, not you. 
okay so this is how the animals show their dominance in their habitat sometimes when you look up in the sky you see many birds flying together what is it are they friends what is the reason that they fly together yes because if they fly alone there can be predators who can attack them and eat them so to save themselves from the predators they go in groups and they are called flock of birds right there is a saying flock of same feathers flock together so it has come from the birds because the birds are covered with feathers right okay all the animals are protective to their young ones you see this monkey have you ever seen a monkey with their babies on the tree top i have seen many around my neighborhood they hold their baby in their arms just like our mother holds us in the when we were very young why is that it is because the mother nurses the young ones in the early days but when we grow up and or well the babies of the animals when they grow up they no longer stay with their mother they are all alone by themselves because they know how they should take care of themselves right so even when we go to school does our mother follow us no we go all by ourselves and we stay there for the whole day enjoying ourselves isn't it all right but that doesn't mean the mother doesn't love their babies they always do over here animals showing care for the young ones yes all our parents they always show care for the young ones they teach us how to eat how to ride how to do various things isn't it but in animals here the mother teaches the young ones how to eat how to hunt how to take care of themselves so that later they can take care all by themselves so here the mother takes care of the young ones in their early days isn't it when your babies our parents take care and later on they leave us on their own and we can take care of ourselves all right children do you remember what did we cover in this class we covered how does ants find the food you remember how quickly yes it is due to their receptor sense the antennae they have they can sense it from there the chemical change or the chemical presence of the food why do some animals stay together they stay together because of their close bonding just like us how do animals show their love by rubbing each other isn't it when we want to uh, hug we want to show our love to our parents we go and hug them right so that is how the same the animals also do they come and they rub each other and animals live together just like us but some animals prefer to stay alone why do animals fight for food they actually do not fight they have to show their presence because everyone is hungry to to fill their own um, tummy they have to fight and show their dominance nature why do birds fly together to save themselves to be eaten up by the predator or big birds isn't it okay now animals showing care and affection to the young ones right they show their care and they teach the kids or our parents teaches many things in our early childhood so same thing the animals also do the same now what we will learn in the next session that means in our next class we have to learn 
we will know a story from a bee. A bee is going to tell a story about his work and how hard work they have to do to give that honey, to make that honey. But it is very easy for us, right, to get the honey. We don't know the various hardships, the story behind the making of honey. So in my next chapter, I'm, in my next lesson, I'm going to take you throughout the process of honey making. Okay? All right, children. So here we come to an end. Thank you so much for watching me. Do like, subscribe to our channel, We Learning, and also leave a comment. And also don't forget to click the bell icon so that you're notified of my upcoming videos. So until then, next time, bye-bye from Soma, ma'am.